back in the um <laughs> the excitement level is high. It is Welcome to this sleepy time version of whatever this podcast is called. Yeah, but before we get into those delightful nightful tones, here's a message from our friends over at Smart Deploy. Smart Deploy allows IT departments to re-image unlimited computer models from one golden image. Search their library for your models and grab your exclusive free licenses at smartdeploy.com slash the rot. Nothing puts you to comfort and ease like quality updates, Paul. I um, I brought home a, a Smart Deploy bit of swag. It's mm -hmm. the only thing I took home. Not even your dignity? You didn't bring that back with you? Uh, what t what time was your flight today, Paul? Um, I want to say nine twenty. Yeah, I was I was out of the airport at nine twenty. Already. Yeah, I um, uh, everything was fine, you know, except that uh, the you know the guy got on the thing and he said uh, we're going to land early. Mm -hmm. I thought this would be fantastic. And then that time came and went, and uh, the time of our normal arrival came and went. And then finally he got on the, I, I couldn't see, I was in like, um, like an exit row. So it had one of those little tiny windows. So yeah. I couldn't really see too well, but he said, uh, this isn't exactly right, but he said, guys, I, he goes, I've been flying. I think he said for 40 years, but he was an older gentleman, but he said, uh, I have never seen this many planes lined up to land at an airport. And he said, if you haven't noticed, we've uh, circled the airport twice. He said, we came in to land. They told us no. And we went back around and then we did it again. <laughs> so we ended up, uh, I mean, it, it was about 30 minutes late, but wow. I thought I was going to get home really early today. Well, and, uh, yeah. yeah, and here we are. And you didn't get to land early. Bill Gates is wrong and um, features aren't <laughs> shipping. And... There's something going on with Gates. Have you noticed this? It's like they're trying to rehabilitate his um, reputation or something like they're uh, he's it just seems like lately he's been talking about Microsoft a lot in interviews. Mm -hmm. I don't. Yeah. I, I suspect what's happening is what he wants to do is get promotion for his foundation, sure. which obviously is doing good work. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, everyone he talks to wants to talk to Microsoft, and and I would say just this week in general or this uh, year or whatever. Um, obviously, there's a lot of antitrust stuff going on with Amazon and Apple and Facebook and Google and whatever. And uh, it's like, who do we know that uh, has experience with this kind of thing? Oh, Mr. Gates. I wonder if he'd get on the mic and, and drop some knowledge. Did you watch this video? No, I don't, uh, who, who, I don't even know who it's with. It was CNBC. Okay. Uh, if, actually, if you go to my article, you can. It, it goes right to the part where they ask him about you know Android or Windows Phone or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's really funny because he does a lot of – his hands are going the whole time. And he, he lurches like right out of his seat. Um, it's interesting. Yeah, it's, it's like watching. Line. I don't know. It's like it's like if Led Zeppelin toured again. You're like, I remember this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't. On the on the slightly brighter side of um, the non sleepy side of life, the mm -hmm. uh, behind the scenes video is well underway. There's a chance oh, yeah? it might be done by tomorrow. Well, anything good? I don't know. We're in it, so. <laughs> right. Sorry. Let me let me rephrase. Um, given what you have to work with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's a video. Like I don't know. I we're sure. pretty good at laughing at ourselves, and maybe yep. people will laugh at us, and um, <laughs> hopefully, maybe with us, but not. At, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but a lot of news this week. I'm not expecting a lot to come out between the next 48, 24 hours because Microsoft is. You know, oh, I'm great. counting on it, Brad. <laughs> we tell you. Oh boy. It has been. Um, I, I think today's been one heck of a month. I think it's. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> if everybody's wondering where we're so tired, it was just nonstop, back to back to back to back to back. It was crazy. I, and I, I, maybe I said this on the podcast yesterday. I can't remember anything. But, um, you know, yesterday was so busy. I didn't even have a chance to write until mm -hmm. uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I mean, I have days where it's 10 o'clock in the morning and I've written seven or eight articles, you know. Yep. Um, it's just busy. Yeah, there's a new a new update that's supposed to improve the battery life on the Surface Pro X that I need to play with 
right and, um which that's like the hardest thing to play with it's like how do, how do you do it like you don't you, know, you just use it and see if yeah. you know i'm expecting subtle improvements but yeah i'm i bet it's like five percent or something but that's i mean that's five percent better than no percent yeah so that's true. we will see we will see. But today is Thursday after all, which means tomorrow should be a live show at uh, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Not Eastern mm -hmm. daylight time, but Eastern standard time because we're now. I can't. I'm not even going to comment on that. I have no idea which of those is correct. <laughs> oh, whatever time New York is on, that's what we're on. That's um... someone, someone asked me this week if I had to change the time zones to get to the show. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no. And I'm like, well. Actually, it was daylight savings yeah, the night before, kinda. so technically, yes. <laughs> but no. yeah. Anyways, that'll be 1 p.m. Eastern time. You can find all that information, uh, just like you can find all those links to Smart Deploy's $700 free licenses offer down yeah. below this video. Uh, but that wraps up probably the major Ignite infected uh, videos, I think. Well, there was the, um, you know, the HoloLens thing happened, right? Oh, so yeah, 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 They announced that. Uh, you and I both, we didn't do this together, but we... We're able to check that thing out again. Mm -hmm. And uh, what did you think? Uh, they improved the onboarding experience. So like when you put it on your head and like get set up with the IPD stuff, they made that better. Uh, yeah. Field of view is, I think, still the same, but mm -hmm. it's it's much easier it's now to just grab the thing, throw it on your head, and then yeah. start hologramming. There were two uh, big improvements uh, to my mind since the February demo. Uh, one was that uh, it's kind of a palm thing. Like you, it, it, oh, it supports yeah, these right. kind of gestures. And when you, when you have your palm open like this or one of your palms, uh, the start, you know, uh, icon or whatever as mm -hmm. appears as a hologram on your wrist and you can kind of tap that. And I, Greg uh, Sullivan, you know, you did the demo for both yep. of us. And, and when he was kind of walking around the room, setting up the, the demo, cause they're using these Azure spatial anchors. So he had holograms set up all around the room. It was a nice, a nice room for this. And, um, you know, I saw him walking around doing this thing and I'm like, what the heck is that? You know? Um, so that was the start menu thing, but the other, you know, must've done the drawing demo thing, right? Where you mm -hmm. kind of, you draw uh, a squiggle in space in front of you yep. and it has three dimensions, you know, it's not mm -hmm. like a 2d squiggle. It's a, yep. it's like a, it's like a plop of, you know, spaghetti or something. And, uh, the funny thing about that is, he, you know, he, he said, well, you're going to, you know, now you can draw whatever and. I was just standing there and he says, what are you waiting for? And I said, oh, I'm waiting for the app to appear. And he says, oh, no, just start doing it. It's just, it mm -hmm. just happens in space. There's no, and it, you know, and I was like, oh, that's, that's incredible. But then, of course, you can, you can grab the squiggle and you can kind of turn it around and you can, yep. you know, up, down it, whatever. And you can walk around the room with it, <laughs> you know, and the squiggle comes with you. And, uh, I mean, the applications for that kind of thing are, uh, not too hard to contemplate. I, my, my the first thing I thought of was like a medical thing where you could have like a, a holographic body and it's like you kind of mm -hmm. remove the intestines or something so you can see what's underneath or whatever i mean it's it's you know because you can zoom in and all that stuff yeah. I, I thought it was really incredible yeah, yeah. In each iteration it's come a long way so yeah. it, it, it's getting there yeah best way to, it's really neat best way to think about it other things that'll be neat will be occurring at one o'clock tomorrow with that live stream of uh first ring daily and again find the smart to play links down below and we'll catch all of you right back here next time Bye-bye. I should say good night. <laughs>